Hello, welcome to ExcelExperts.com. This is an introduction to the Teach Yourself Excel course in 27 easy steps. And today we'll look at the course outline. So lesson one, why should I use Excel? This is a walk through the many reasons why you might want to use Excel from various perspectives. So the consumer, the existing user and the business. Lesson two, well that's this, it's the course outline. Lesson three is the very first step is on how to open Excel. Lesson four, essential for learning any new piece of software, definitions. You've got to understand what the various things are and it's not that difficult once you understand what they are. Workbooks, worksheets, cells, ranges, learn all about those. Lesson five, sheet navigation. So Excel is, is one big grid. Learn how to navigate around the grid and a collection of grids very easily and efficiently. This will improve your Excel using experience. Learn how to enter data. So a spreadsheet is fundamentally two things. You've got inputs, you've got calculations based on those inputs, and outputs. So inputs, outputs. Inputs are your data and the outputs are what is returned by the calculations or pivot tables or charts. Learn how to enter the data efficiently. Change the column width. So if you, Excel defaults various things like column width and if you enter data that's too big for the column width you won't be able to see it. So learn how to change it. Data validation. Learn how to reduce the possibility of entering a typo, which would give you bad data, which would give you bad summaries, which leads to all kinds of problems. And also reduce the amount of time it takes you to enter this data. Enter it efficiently with data validation. Lesson nine, how to delete data. So correct any mistakes that you, you make. Formatting. So the default way of Excel displaying something might not be to your uh, preferences. So learn how to change that. So you can change the font color, the background, the lots of things. Save a file. So this is a lesson on file saving and about best practices regarding file saving. Very important. Lesson 12, dates. dates quite special in Excel but once you learn them and understand them and you're able to transfer between a date and a number and you appreciate that concept dates are easy. Enter a formula. Excel is all about formulas and how to create certain calculations based on your data and return the answer to that. So learn how to enter a formula. Learn how to copy a formula. So you don't want to type your formula 100,000 times. Just copy it. Insert a column. So if you forget um, a heading or you want to insert a column, this will teach you how. Absolute references. Now, this doesn't sound very obvious, but this is an absolutely essential Excel lesson about fixing references when using formulae. So this is probably one of the most important introduction to Excel lessons. Copy and paste special values. So you, if you enter a formula and you're happy with the results, maybe you want to fix those results. This will teach you how. Protection. Learn how to protect your formula and learn best practices for protection. Freeze panes. Learn how to deal with lots of data and to still be able to view your headings. Sort data. Pretty obvious. Learn about sorting your data. Filter data. So when you display data, it may be more than what you actually want to see and you can drill into that data based on certain criterion. Learn how to do that there. VLOOKUP formula. This is the most useful Excel function in my opinion. Learn about it. Find and replace. So don't spend your whole life 
retyping things when you can just use find and replace to do it easily. Insert a new worksheet and rename it. Find more about that. Create a pivot table. So pivot tables are ingenious invention from Excel. Learn about them, appreciate them, use them, get the most out of them. Don't reinvent the wheel. Create a chart. Create charts. Visually see your data. It then becomes immediately obvious what your data is all about. Visualize it. Very important. Create charts from it. Create hyperlinks. So navigate around your spreadsheet easily by creating hyperlinks. Or in this example, create an index page. You've been listening to ExcelExperts.com. This is the course outline for the Teach Yourself Excel course. Go to excelexperts.com for more information. Thank you for listening.